Hello everyone. I warmly welcome all of you for today's session. As in the last session, we have been already studied summit curve and valley curve, which are the types of vertical curves. In today's session, we are going to start about widening of roads. So, as the word is indicating widening, means we are going to increase width of the road pavement at the turning point. Okay. So, this is considered as in your horizontal curve that the curve which is only changing the direction of your travel uh, transportation so that at such location as you can see in the image at such location there is a chances of over skidding of this vehicle or getting out of the alignment of the vehicle for that purpose we provide this extra width for balancing or for stopping the vehicle if it is get damaged so it is the portion of extra pavement width at sharp horizontal curves is known as widening of carriageway on curves. This is an experimental or you can say a calculation mathematical model in which they are showing the extra widening. So the extra width will be calculated as nl square by 2r plus v upon 9.5 r. For r is a 45 meter like the radius that is forming r1 and r2. And taking the average of both these two, L is the horizontal distance, V is the velocity in kmph. So we will can cal we can calculate the extra width or widening at a particular situation. The analysis of extra widening on horizontal curves is being classified into two types, that is mechanical widening and psychological widening. In mechanical widening, the widening required to account for the off Tracking due to the rigidity of the wheel base is called as the mechanical widening. It is completely related to the performance of the vehicle at the turning point with a particular speed. Formula for calculating mechanical widening is Wm is equal to n l square upon 2 r, where n is the number of traffic lengths, where whether it is a single length, double length, l length of the wheel base of the longest vehicle in meter. ठीक है व्हीकल की कितनी लेंथ है या या फ्रंट व्हील से लेके लास्ट व्हील तक का डिस्टेंस कितना है दैट विल मैटर बिकॉज़ इट्स टर्निंग विद एन पर्टिकुलर स्पीड आर इज अ रेडियस ऑफ हॉरिजॉन्टल कर्व इन मीटर एंड द सेकंड इज साइकोलॉजिकल वाइडनिंग एट हॉरिजॉन्टल कर्व ड्राइवर्स हैव अ टेंडेंसी टू मेंटेन अ ग्रेटर क्लीयरेंस बिटवीन द व्हीकल देन ऑन स्ट्रेट स्ट्रेचेस ऑफ द रोड ओके अब इसका मीनिंग क्या होता है टर्निंग पॉइंट पे ड्राइवर लोग क्या करते हैं दूर से टर्न लेते हैं जिससे कि अपोजिट साइड से आने वाली व्हीकल को दिक्कत होती है ओके सो दैट वाज बिकॉज़ ऑफ कंप्लीटली साइकोलॉजिकल कांसेप्ट देयरफॉर एन एक्स्ट्रा विड्थ ऑफ पेमेंट इज प्रोवाइडेड फॉर साइकोलॉजिकल रीजंस फॉर ग्रेटर मैनुअलेबिलिटी ऑफ स्टीयरिंग एट हायर स्पीड एंड टू अलाउ फॉर द एक्स्ट्रा स्पेस रिक्वायरमेंट फॉर द ओवरहैंग ऑफ व्हीकल फिर साइकोलॉजिकल वाइडनिंग is therefore important in pavement with more than one lane an empirical formula has been recommended by irc for deciding the additional psychological widening which is denoted as wps which is dependent on the design speed v of the vehicle r is the radius of the curve so the formula will become wps width of by psychological widening equals to v upon 9.5 root of r where v will be the velocity of vehicle and r will be the radius of curve that the vehicle is forming hence the total widening we required on a horizontal curve is given by we is equals to wm plus wps wm mechanical widening wps psychological widening so this is the total formula which gives you the total widening that is we okay here n is the number of traffic lanes l will be called as length of the wheel base r will be the radius of horizontal curve and v will be the design speed in km ph this is an irc recommendations for single and two lane pavement right if the radius of curve is in meter varies accordingly and for single lane or for two lane then the extra widening in the meters specifically at the turning point will be considered from the center point or from the center line of the roadway will be this much okay next we will start with the super elevation what is super elevation 
as in the image you can see this is your turning situation and vehicle is taking in turn towards left side while turning centrifugal force drag him in other direction rather is transverse friction force drives the vehicle in other direction these two forces drive the vehicle in opposite manner for balancing the weight of the vehicle we increases height of the pavement specifically at the turning point towards the outer reach and that height is called as the super elevation so it is an inward transverse inclination inward hai jaise if you are taking a turn to the left side so the left is age is at a zero elevation and the right age is at an particular value of e and that value is called as a elevational value transverse inclination provided to the cross section of the carriage way at horizontal curved portion of a road is called as super elevation it is also known as cant or banking this is the dramatical uh, image which shows the forces distribution while turning and turning a vehicle on an turning point with an particular speed limit if uh, consider this is an vehicle cg is the center of gravity this is its total weight or center of gravity is being acting towards the gravitational force okay this is p the force which is dragging him it's making an angle of theta with the horizontal this is an e value or the elevational value okay so accordingly the force acting on the vehicle while moving on a circular curve of radius r at a speed will be considered as a v meter per second centrifugal force calculated by p is equals to w v square upon g r where w is the weight of the vehicle v will be the velocity g will be the center of gravity 9.81 and r will be the radius the weight of the vehicle acting vertically downwards through the center of gravitational point the frictional force developed between the wheels and the pavement counteracts transversely along the pavement surface towards the center of the curve means the center of the gravity is dragging or attracting the vehicle towards the centrifugal force and the speed which drags the vehicle towards forward or backward in the moment and these two forces specifically should be get balanced at the turning point to balance the load or the two uh, own vehicle load while moving with a particular speed in a turning point so here we will start the calculation of super elevation for that let a vehicle be moving at a speed of v meter per second on a circular curve of radius r then it will be subjected to the three forces first is centrifugal force p which is being calculated w v square upon g r acting horizontally outwards through the cg b weight w of the vehicle acting vertically downwards through the cg friction developed between the wheels of the pavement acting transversely along the pavement surface towards the center of the curve so in this let theta will be the transverse inclination as in the above image here you observe the theta so here the theta will be transverse inclination e will be rate of super elevation so for that we can get mathematical expression for that like tan theta opponent side upon adjacent side f design coefficient of lateral friction that is being taken value 0.15 this is an frictional value which is constant being taken between tire and road surface g is acceleration due to gravity force acting on the vehicle that is 9.81 meter per second square rx will be considered as a normal reaction at wheel x equals to w cos of theta the value of rx now as you have been learned in engineering mechanics to resolve the forces accordingly rx and ry fx and fy are being resolved okay where r is what in the image you can see this is r this dotted line is a so rx is equals to normal reaction at wheel x equals to w cos of theta ry normal reaction at wheel y equals to p sin theta fx full value of frictional force f into rx fy full value of frictional force at y f into 
R1. Okay, so here you will get the detailed those forces we have been considering. This is in your vehicle. This is center of gravity of the vehicle. This is W. Total weight of the vehicle is acting towards the centrifugal force. This is C, the force which is dragging the vehicle outward or uh, sorry backward or forward. Now this theta, the whatever angle is making theta, okay. So this theta is being considered or uh, resolved into two forces. That is W sine theta, W cos theta. This is reaction at wheel X at wheel Y, or you can say wheel one at wheel two. Okay, so R X will be the reaction at wheel X, R Y will be the reaction at wheel Y. Accordingly, the forces is affects towards the edge F Y towards the second wheel, or from the first wheel affects and from the second outer side of the curve. This X Z plane is a horizontal normal plane. So consider the equilibrium P cos theta equals to. Now taking the summation of all the Horizontal and vertical forces. So we'll get W sine theta plus F X plus S Y. P cos theta equals to. As we consider F X and F Y value, so we will put the F X and F Y value from above considerations like small f R X plus small f R Y. These are 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 the reactions at wheel X and at wheel Y. So from here we will uh, take F Y will be constant. So R X will be W cos theta and R Y will be P sine theta. So here again, your this term is going to this side, okay? So it will be P, or you can say P is common. Cos theta minus F sine theta equals to W sine theta. This is a particular formula. It is a mathematical consideration. Both the side dividing by the W cos theta will get this expression. P by W is equal to tan theta plus F. This is the last expression that you have to consider. It is E plus F is equal to V square upon G R. Okay, and if this is when the velocity is in meter per second, this 2.9.1 equation is the most important equation which is being cal, which is being used to calculate the super elevational value of a driven vehicle. Okay, now if the speed of the vehicle is expressed as a v in kilometer per hour, then this expression will be considered. That is 3.9.2. So mug up all these two equations and draw the diagram. This complete diagram and plot all these equations. This is being asked in the examination. What is super elevation? Define it and explain or how to calculate the super elevation. Okay. So regarding this explanation, we will see one video that will elaborate your idea regarding all these calculations and super elevation phenomena. So, as in the video, you have been seeing the detailed phenomena that we have been considered while designing or calculating the super elevation, that is the value of e. So, mug up all the values and with their symbols like e, f, v, r, g, etc. 
and the derivation is not necessary but the formula that you are getting at the end that formula is being utilized to calculate or solve the different numericals so we will stop over here in the next session we will, we will see all the different types of numericals regarding the concept of super elevation till that thank you